let's go to our discussion of the week. Online shopping has become a new lifestyle for many people as it offers not only participation practicality, but also convenience. However, many companies, especially micro and small-scale enterprises, are still unable to benefit from the new marketing trend due to lack of digital knowledge. To date, e-commerce has become a favorite choice for consumers due to its practicality, convenience and even affordability. According to a report from the Ministry of Industry, the number of e-commerce users in Indonesia reached about 196 million in 2023. Bank Indonesia also predicts that the value of e-commerce transactions in Indonesia by the end of 2023 reaches 572 trillion rupiah, about 36 billion US dollars. However, the lack of digital knowledge and capability has become the main barriers of the small business to enter the internet marketing. They just don't have reliable devices, but also money to invest in staff training. In its latest survey titled The Role of Digital Platform in Promoting MSMEs in Indonesia, research agency Institute for Development of Economics and Finance highlights the importance of the digital platforms in helping MSMEs to reach a wider audience to increase their sales. The survey shows that the lack of digital skills remain the main obstacle of the MSMEs to go digital, as many as 83.46% other respondents said that the lack of digital skills in using digital platforms remain a major obstacle. The survey also finds a number of major online market platforms that have also been closely involved in promoting the digital skill among small businesses in the country. To help improve the digital skills of Indonesian MSME owners, several e-commerce platforms such as Shopee, Lazada, and Tokopedia have regularly provided digital training programs for MSMEs. Through such trainings, MSMEs can learn the most basic topics starting from creating an e-commerce shop, managing an online shop, increasing orders using various features and campaign programs to how to reach buyers abroad. These programs include Blibli University, Shopee MSME Export Campus, Tokopedia Seller Express School, TikTok Seller University and Lazada University. Like in other countries, in Indonesia, MSMEs also play an important role in the economy. MSMEs contribute about 60% to the country's gross domestic product and employ 97% of the total labor force. The government is pushing for the digital transformation of MSMEs to enable them to tap into the growing e-commerce that will enable them to reach a wider audience not only at home but also overseas. By equipping with digital skills, more MSMEs can sell their products online so that they can grow and take a bigger role in the economy, especially in providing jobs for the people. However, they should not be left alone in resolving the problem. The government should step in to help them in all aspects of marketing and production so that they can also benefit from the rapid growth in the country's e-commerce. The country's e-commerce has grown rapidly during the past several years. However, lack of digital skills has hampered small and medium enterprises to tap into the online potential. Now we have uh, Mr. Izudin Alfaras, researcher of digital economy and SME at INDEF, and he will share his knowledge and 
empowerment of micro, small and medium business in e-commerce. Welcome to Economic Outlook. Thank you for being here where today we will be discussing about digitizing our MSMEs and um, how is it doing so far. Now, uh, first question, uh, Mr. Faras. The INDEF uh, have recently released a survey on the role of digital platforms in the empowerment of the MSMEs in Indonesia. Can you please highlight to us what are the key findings from this survey? Yeah, there are three key findings from our survey that taken uh, on January 2024. First, the SMS in Indonesia have uh, grown uh, their uh, opportunities in e-commerce uh, and it has increased uh, uh, slightly by year, year by year, uh, but we can see that, uh, the that they, they get many benefits from e-commerce. The second one, um, that benefits are the increase in sales and uh, create more opportunities, especially job creation. And the third conclusion uh, from our survey is uh, program initiative from our e-commerce have uh, contributed to uh, empower uh, MSMEs. So MSMEs can take more promotion, take more marketing in that e-commerce so they can grow more and more uh, from that e-commerce. Mr. Faras, you mentioned just now that our MSMEs are slightly increasing in the digital selling. Can you please explain to us uh, what are the barriers of our MSMEs in going digital then? Yeah, there are three things uh, that became main barrier from our MSMEs to compete uh, in e-commerce. First, the lack of digital skills. So many uh, MSMEs players, especially local MSMEs, cannot have uh, that knowledge to compete in e-commerce, especially when many import products came to Indonesia. Second, the lack of infrastructure, uh, because in some parts of uh, Indonesia, there are a low internet uh, in that area, so the uh, MSMEs player cannot, uh, have that, uh, have, cannot have that good access to internet. And the third one uh, is a capability, low, low capability, because uh, if they have uh, good internet, they have good skills, but they cannot uh, uh, take uh, e-commerce well. So they only, uh, especially many SMEs only use internet to uh, to, uh, to use uh, social media. So they're not taking the maximum advantage, advantage of, the of social media. Yeah, on, only, so, only, so, only from social media, but uh, cannot uh, good take advantage from e-commerce because uh, many of them only use social media, but not uh, e-commerce. E-commerce. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, you mentioned one of the first points just now is actually the lack of digital skills yep. from the people selling the products. What sort of digital skills are we talking about here? Can you elaborate more? Yeah. Uh, at least, we, if, we can, if, we can, if we talk about digital skills, we talk about how to operate uh, our gadget. Because many, uh, as, as I said before, many people in, uh, in Indonesia have gadget uh, in, in, in their pocket, but cannot use uh, many applications. We're just using the basics. Just using the basic stuff, yeah. Just WhatsApp and internet. Yes. Oh, yeah, mm. Pre precisely. So <laughs> yeah, they cannot, uh, especially in that in the case of e-commerce, they cannot uh, have, uh, they cannot access e-commerce very well as compared to uh, other uh, SMEs. So who should step in here for the training of this, the digital skills? Is it the company or is it the government or what's the solution yeah, here? The two of them need to uh, collaborate uh, to empower SMEs. First, government need to, uh, uh, need, need to, have, need, need to uh, collaborate with uh, company because government take the uh, empowerment and then also the company also, uh, also the empowerment. So if they collaborate well, uh, then MSMEs can have benefit not only from government, but also from the company. Now let's talk more about the MSMEs itself. Uh, can you please uh, explain to us what are the profiles of most MSMEs that are engaged in e-commerce and what do they mostly sell? Yeah, the two most dominant uh, products that MSMEs sell in e-commerce, the first one, uh, fashion. So many uh, local, local fashion, uh, come tap in to uh, e-commerce and the second one are F&B, food and beverage. So uh, these two types uh, of products uh, enter the e-commerce and some of them can compete well uh, compared to the foreign products. Now what happened recently a couple of months ago was the banning of TikTok shop. Yep. 
do you think actually our local products can still compete with uh, the products that we import with such a cheap value? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's not that easy to compete well with, uh, especially uh, the low price product from uh, we can say China to uh, come to Indonesia. But some of our product, local product, uh, also have the also have that competitiveness. As, uh, we can mention some of the uh, uh, from the FNB and also from the fashion product. Uh, but yeah, in general, uh, we have to uh, compete. Of, uh, more uh, to have the competitiveness uh, better compared before. In your opinion though, how far are we from reaching our maximum potential? I mean like comparing us with other countries out there? Yeah, we have big potential to achieve uh, uh, many potential that we have, but uh, I think we, we need to uh, tap that potential uh, step by step so uh, our SME can grow and empowered uh, by government and also by the company. So, yeah. We need to work harder, huh? Work harder, for us. <laughs> yeah, precisely. We're not doing the best we can. Yep. Uh, last question here. Do you have any examples of small and medium scale uh, companies which have succeeded in e-commerce so far? Yeah, uh, I, I can mention for um, fashion, uh, one of the product, uh, one of uh, the product are Zargo, the, the, that, uh, that product is, are located from uh, Central Java, but they can compete very well in our local, our local commerce, and some of its product can have uh, export to uh, to other com uh, to other countries. Countries, so yeah, that is the one example from uh, fashion. Okay, well, thank you so much, Mr. Faras, researcher of digital economy at Indef, and we are looking forward to hear more updates from you uh, from the digital world next time. Thank you so much. Thank you.